Hello, <coughs> welcome to the channel. Uh, fire lighting station. Um, what happened was uh, the fire has been not. I've been uh, using sawdust. Um, hello, welcome to the channel. And I just just drawing this fire. Sawdust on it. And it, that's it. I went to bed about. 12 or something, so it's 8 hours. Just put kindling on top and a log, and it's all way. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. So I went and wound up all of the electric car nutters last night, um, so I'll have a look at that later today. I like destroying them, it's good fun. <coughs> Because they're so full of shit, and they start off, they always start off all cocky and, <coughs> and once we get into it, they either get they either get really abusive or they start off laughing and hey, hey you're stupid and, and then they turn you sometimes you can pin them down and they they either fizzle out or they get really so abusive you can't talk to them. That's, that's supposed to be the choice. So it's snowing outside, um, not really much can be done at the moment, I've got snow tyres on so I should be able to get out the hill, up the hill, but um, look at that. I'll probably get sorted out and maybe, maybe we'll do a bit of, um, I don't know if it's good. Should really cut wood in the in the in the snow. I suppose it's not a good idea using electric equipment. Is it really? Two hundred forty volt? No, not really. Hmm. I don't think so. Probably not going to be a good idea. So we'll get the fire going. I'll get some more sawdust on it. We'll get out in the car, we'll get out in the car later. The, snow the winter tires will get me going. I just don't really... Uh, uh, the problem when it snows is you can't really go anywhere, can you? Because everywhere you want to go is probably not open. I mean, I'd like to have gone to Cumbernauld, but I'm not going all the way down there and find that it's not open. Um, well, maybe we could do that. Be exciting, wouldn't it? Opens at 10. And if he lives there, he should be able to get there in a bit of snow, shouldn't he? Uh, get his bike or something, or whatever it is. Will we do a quick channel update? Look at that. That's probably not. I never even know how to light it. Just put kindling on it. Loaded it up with kindling and, and that log. There's only one log in there. Um, there's only one log in there. It was just the embers got it going. Oh, this is a this is a fantastic way to start the day. I think this is just a fire lighting session, isn't it? So it is. Oh, is it going to be a channel update? I haven't even got my little thing that I use. Um. God, I must be. A, I actually feel quite knackered. I went to bed. I must be about. I don't know what time. About twelve or something. Twenty past eight. That's terrible. How long does it take me so long? To... Eight hours sleep. Jesus. That's terrible. Should have put an alarm. Well, normally I'm up at half five on a Saturday morning. I mean, I thought, well, what's the point in going to Edinburgh? If I, I'll get in there, because it wasn't snowing last night, I could be stuck there. No, yeah, that wouldn't have worked out very well. No. I think that was a good idea, not going to Edinburgh, yeah. Oh. 
It's quite weird. This is the future. Sitting here speaking to a, to a device. We have predicted that. Uh, yeah, I'm on my own in a room speaking to a device. Yeah, and there's like five and a half thousand people subscribed, but how many people are actually listening to me? About six or something. And I'm quite comfortably talking away to nobody. Well, there is somebody there, but I don't know who's there. It's a weird thing. I, th- I think it's um, it's just it's modern life, isn't it, really? Um, it's just modern life. Maybe we are all... A lot of the things, advances, so-called, I'll do that thing, um, I've sent us back, especially between men and women. You know, uh, the sort of freedom of the 60s, the promiscuity and everything, and... Feminism. Feminism has caused a bigger gap between males and females. So the freedom, the freedom that women have, has actually drift, made them, it made it more difficult for them to to get involved in a healthy relationship. So it's pushed men further away from them. That's weird. So that's like the so it, ostensibly, it's allowed more, you know, easier to, to have sex, or, but in reality, it's pushed us further apart because of the dangers involved. Um, with relationships, and then, and then of course the commitment. It's so easy for. Um, people to bail out of commitment it's, the facts are it's women that do it, I mean they're the ones that, that instigate divorce because uh, they, you know, say well they've got a point or they've got a reason or, or it's right, it's, it's debatable but I think when you when you, when you you have children with somebody I think you're, you're kind of I don't think it's appropriate that you can just dump move on so in my case I I have no relationship with my ch- well, I have a relationship with the younger, the daughter. Uh, pretty much not a very good one, but the the older ones, they don't talk to me, and that's as a result of the, the rejection. Um, plain and simple it is, but I mean, there's all sorts of blame game happens, of course, but um, and my granddaughter, I, don't even, I haven't even seen my granddaughter. Uh, it's just one of these things, a... Uh, you just have to cope with it. I mean, it's like, well, what can you do? There's nothing you can do. I know that that if I tried to see my granddaughter, they would make it so awkward it would be unbelievable. And the grandparents don't have any rights anyway. Um, but they would make it so unbelievably difficult. And they would pull out all the stops to stop it. Uh, or it would be awkward and be horrible and nasty. That's what happened to my, with my sister as well. Uh, she was like that with me. You got people. You tell people, and they go, "Why is that?" And, and then you always feel that they maybe think that it's my fault or something. You know, something that I've done, or I, I must be like a really bad person or something like that. And um, the reality is, it, I think really what it boils down to and what caused it is that because of the abusive upbringing I had, with my mother, because she was a psychopath. Um, well, that's a psychopath, but she was a sociopathic nut, nutcase. I think it, it, in turn, meant that I was attracted to 